Hey, Jay Clark here with Rocky Mountain. We're going to give you an inside look to this Dirt Rider project, CRF250X. Called it a uh, low rider, a low boy, we call this thing. It's been shortened up an inch by Race Tech, and we've done a few other mods. We're going to give you an inside look at what we did to make this thing go really good. Okay, so for these 250Xs, we've got a bit of a fleet of these bikes, and they're, they're great bikes for all around use. On most of these older bikes, the clutches are per a bit beat up, so we put a whole clutch uh, system from Henson in there. On this one, we have the Tusk rear brake pedal. Nice, good pedal, good replacement for the stock one. The IMS foot pegs, they're, they're off-road peg. There's a good, strong peg. You'll never have a failure with that thing. FMF, we run different varieties of either stainless steel or tie, but we prefer the stainless steel on the trail bikes with their power core muffler. For cams on these bikes, we just go with the stage one hot cams. We just want a lot of low end grunt on these things. And on the cylinders, we just go with a one millimeter over big board. It just makes it a 256, which doesn't sound like much, but it gives it a little bit more grunt in this bike. So for the carb jetting and opening up the airbox, you can see the video link below. That video shows you how to open up the airbox properly on these bikes. That really helps a lot for these 250Xs. Even if you don't do any of the other mods, if you open up the airbox and do the jetting, it'll help your 250X out tremendously. So for handguards are critical on off-road bikes. For years we've run the Renthal or Cycra motocross shield type guards, mainly being motocross guys. But we've learned that these, and when you get out trail riding, especially if you loan them to your buddies and you get, everybody's got a, a guy, a, a Matt or a David who just drops bikes all over the place. And so with those guys, you want to have some wraparound guards so that when they drop the bike, they don't break levers or throttle tubes. This just saves your life. And so these Cycra ones are just awesome. Mount up to the Renthal twin wall bars we got. So in this case, we've added a steel braided line from Tusk. Really nice piece, good quality. Works connection makes our clutch perch. We're using the Elite perch with the A lever. Really nice piece. We use big bar mounts in these bikes when we use the stock clamps. And that way we can run twin walls or any fat bars. With, with this case, we have the uh, ride engineering one piece setup. We also use the Renthal big bar mounts or the applied mounts. Any of those big bar mounts will work well. So on the front brake levers, we use the ARC or the Works, Works Connection front brake levers, and the stock uh, bend worked really well. So this bike had on our Tusk wheel set. We've got just the stock wheels back on. Tusk wheel set's gone on to another project with another uh, with the 450X we're doing for another project. So Works Connection does the radiator braces, gives the bike a lot of extra strength. Okay, so in this case, we strengthen up the radiators with ICW out of North Carolina. They strengthen the radiators and make sure there's no leaks pressure check it, and they can fix about any radiators, do a really good job. On off-road bikes, skid plates are critical. Uh, we've been motor guys, we kind of would always go with small skid plates. Now we've given up and gone to the wraparound ones because we've busted too many ignition covers and clutch covers. So, got wraparound skid plates from Works Connection. Uh, add a lot of strength and durability there when we're in our rocky conditions. Okay, so for this Dirt Rider project, we wanted this thing to sit a bit lower. Moto seat kind of shaved our seat just a tiny bit so we'd have a little more ground clearance to be able to, to be able to you know get our feet down to the ground. Race Tech did the suspension and they wanted to we wanted to lower it so it's lowered about at one inch. Of course you do lose a little bit of ground clearance with the lowered suspension but for someone that's a little bit uh, shorter in the leg area this is a good really good bike to get them going. So we, we've removed the odometer here these are cables here we have plenty of room to run our cables through here we zip tie this through here so it doesn't get caught on the other side of here with a stock headlight setup. CV4 has a high pressure radiator cap, can run a little bit higher temperatures when you're getting stuck on the trail. Promoto Billet makes a really nice kickstand for these bikes. Trail Tech makes a really nice headlight for these bikes. Uh, we've gone with an upgraded stator on a few of these and had really good results with their upgraded stator to this X2 light. Really powerful, good lighting system for a trail guy. Now this isn't to go down to Baja or anything, nothing set up like that, but plenty good for uh, for our trail riding we do with some uh, added uh, lighting power. Really nice over the stock setup. That's an inside look at our Dirt Rider project. Also a little bit of a view of all of our 250Xs. These things are great bikes. Uh, some of these we have over 100 hours in the bottom end. Um, can't do that with a motocross bike, but it seems like with these things, get the oil changed, take good care of them, they'll last a long time. For trail use, they're just an amazing bike and you can do some good things with them.